What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering the SoFi stock. Everybody, earnings are dropping left and right, mega caps, and right now the market is crashing out from under us. We are down about two and a half percent, you know, on the indexes today, and SoFi is continuing to show more and more strength while the mega caps are crashing right now, three, four, five percent. SoFi has been going green left and right. That is showing you the resilience of what is going on behind the scenes after that earnings report. Guys, I was wrong. I thought it was going to be a blowout. It was not just a blowout earnings. It was an impeccable earnings, guys. A superior earnings. The best earnings quarter in SoFi history. The company hit records across every single segment. And what is happening right now, institutions are loading behind the scenes on these you know, fake market sell-offs. Guys, last night, I wanted to get the word out as fast as possible because, you know, we got information that 11 million shares were borrowed in the overnight trading to dump early on in the open trading day, you know, to try and get the stock to sell off as much as possible. And guess what's happening? The dip continues to get bought up faster and faster. We are showing massive, massive resilience at these levels. And I'm telling you right now, the stock is going to be breaking out to new all time highs pretty soon, guys. Hey everyone, can you do me a huge favor and be sure to follow this Twitter account? This is my new Twitter at Kyle Stock Goat. The link is in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that I lost my Twitter because it got hacked. I'm trying to get that Twitter back as fast as possible, but I've had the urge to start tweeting. So guys, please help me out. Let's try and get this Twitter to a thousand followers. I'd really appreciate it. And guys, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be an amazing video for you. We're going to cover more price target, you know, uh, changes that are happening. We covered seven analyst price targets yesterday. We got another two coming out today. Don't forget, guys, pretty soon we're going to be covering the institutional ownership changes and buys coming in, you know, as soon as the month ends. It's going to be absolutely insane when we can see what these companies like BlackRock, Vanguard, Sumitomo, ARK Invest are all doing. It's going to be absolutely incredible because I'm telling you right now, institutional ownership is going up. And if you guys can do me a huge favor, I want you to drop a comment, but I don't want you guys to drop any comment. I want you guys to help me with this YouTube channel because I'm going to be taking massive, massive feedback on what type of videos you want to see. So drop a comment. Tell me exactly you know, what type of videos you want to see on this channel, specifically covering the SoFi stock, guys. Uh, do you want to see like the EPS expansion, uh, price targets from you know five years out, comparisons to other companies, Affirm, Upstart, Robinhood, uh, background on management, revenue predictions, 2030 predictions. Just drop a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Anything you can think of, I'm going to be covering a list of the, you know, the best uh, you know, comments that I get, and it's going to be you know, allowing me to pump out more SoFi content for you guys, exactly what you want to see, and I'm going to try and figure out what works exactly. So please drop a comment, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more and more people can see this video. Let's try and get the video to 1,500 likes, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get the channel past 20,000 subs. I'm telling you guys right now, we are literally set to explode pretty soon. I'm telling you, this stock is hitting every single milestone it needs to hit. We have the best management in place, Anthony Noto. He is going to lead us to the promised land. This company is going to hit $45 and the management is going to hit all of their bonuses. Let's get into the video. All right, real quick, it's important to see what's going on inside of this day because it's showing the resilience behind the SoFi company, even though mega caps are crashing left and right. We have Microsoft down 5% today, Broadcom 4.6, NVIDIA 4, Meta 4, Amazon 3.2. So mega caps just falling off a cliff. And you can see the SoFi stock, you know, has sold off into the red multiple times, but it's still you know, flat on the day, green right now, okay, just continuing to hold up that $11 level. And just look at the indexes right now, guys. We got the NASDAQ down 2.4%, okay? Tech-heavy NASDAQ almost getting clipped, 2.5%. Absolutely insane the strength we're getting behind the SoFi company. All right, guys, here's the first, you know, analyst upgrade we got today. This is UBS raises target uh, price from uh, $7.50, a $3 raise to $10.50. So this guy is still living behind the curve of what the stock price reaction is actually doing, but it looks like he can do his senses a little bit, increase the stock by $3. And we also have Goldman Sachs, a legacy bank, you know, competitor, increasing their share target from $7.50 to $8.50. Okay, so even the legacy bank competitors, the analysts that are literally covering our stock, are still having to increase their price target by a dollar. We saw JP Morgan do this. 
Uh, Bank of America went up like $2. So even the legacy bank competitors are continuing to, you know, fold to the performance earnings that we had. Uh, this is just, you know, BS. We all know it. I mean, these guys should all be at like 12 to $14, but they're not going to do that. I mean, SoFi has to have impeccable earnings just to get a dollar increase, but it's okay because we will leave their analyst ratings in the dust. And these guys will be losing jobs because of lack of due diligence. All right, guys, check it out. We are four quarters in a row of gap profitability you know, on the last four quarters. Of course, we haven't had full year profitability yet. We need that Q4, but understand on a trail in 12 months, we are profitable, $214 million. So our PE ratio is starting to come alive. We're gonna take a look at that PE ratio right now. All right, guys, if you take the SoFi market cap right now, 12.2 billion and divide it by the 214 million trailing 12 months uh, net income, we are looking at a 57X PE ratio. Not 1,000, not 300, not 200, not 100. We're looking at a 57X right now, guys. This is absolutely mind-blowing, you know, the transformation that SoFi has made into these, you know, four quarters in a row of profitability. And we're looking at 100% EPS expansion for uh, 2025 and another 100% EPS expansion at a minimum by 2026. So if anything, if the SoFi stock just continues to double, the PE ratio is not gonna do nothing year over year. It's just gonna stay at these levels. But we all know that, you know, what we're looking for is that, um, you know, $1 billion uh, profitability, you know, for uh, 2026. And that will, you know, definitely bring the P ratio down dramatically. But of course, that's not going to happen if we got the stock, you know, counterbalancing moving up at the exact same time. But hey, for the growth that SoFi is showing right now, um, I believe this is a fair, you know, value right now on the stock 57X. Um, I believe we're going to go a lot higher than this. You got legacy banks trading at 10 to 15 times with 0% growth. SoFi is nowhere in that ballpark, guys. We're trading at literally, you know, 30% growth on our last quarter. And I believe we're going to sustain a full year growth next year of 30% or more. So this PE ratio is going to be all over the place. But just understand, we are still getting a fintech multiple, respectable multiple, 57X right now. And guys, just look at the quarter we just produced of $690 million. That was a $90 million jump quarter over quarter, okay? $90 million. The biggest we had prior to that was 60 million. And I think we're still going to get a massive, massive blowout for Q4. But let's just say things cool off a little bit and we get a $40 million jump and, you know, retain the 40 million quarterly jumps moving forward into 2025. We're looking at 730 million revenue for Q4. Very, very respectable. Finishing out the year, uh, $2.6 billion for 2024. Let's just call it that. Let's say we just jump up that 40 million jump, cool off from that 90 million we just had Q2 to Q3. And just remain doing that the the entire year for 2025. We're gonna go from 730 to 770 to 810 to 850 to 890. Okay, that is 3.32 billion dollars. That is 28 percent year over year growth, and this is very very respectable, guys. Understand the analysts on Wall Street want SoFi to grow to like 2.8 billion dollars in revenue or something like that. I believe they're gonna be like 400 million dollars off, 500 million dollars off. Okay. And if we just put a profit margin on that, you know, revenue next year of 9%, I believe this is going to be the base case, $297 million profit. So that'll only be jumping up, you know, just a little bit from 200 million this year to 297 million. But I just want you guys to see the EPS expansion that we're going to be looking at. So if you put in that $296 million of net income and take SoFi's outstanding shares of 1 billion and 60 million, we're looking at 28 cents EPS. And this year, our forecast right now is 11 to 12. Let's assume we hit 13 or 14. Another year of 100% EPS expansion. And I believe this is the bare minimum, guys. I believe SoFi is not just going to grow 40 million revenue per quarter. I think there's an opportunity next year on a crazy quarter that they're going to be jumping up quarterly revenue like $120 million, okay? So this is my base case, 28% growth. For 2025, okay, we're putting up about 23% this year. Base case, 28%. The analysts on Wall Street truly think SoFi is going to grow 17% next year, guys. It is right here. Look at the data. This is 14 analysts on Wall Street. They have no idea of what is about to happen. I'm telling you right now, SoFi is going to get some massive, massive quarters coming very soon. Uh, Q4, I, I don't even want to think about what's going to happen, guys. I was totally blown off guard by Q3. I think we're going to see a million members and, you know, clear 720 million you know out of the water uh what is the analyst wall street uh estimate for next quarter they're at 670 million i'm at 720 as the bare minimum these guys are living in fairy tale land and they're going to be losing their jobs pretty soon 
You see these upgrades, $3 by UBS. It's all a joke, guys. The fair value on SoFi is $18. As you guys can see, Anthony Noda said there's clear skies ahead for 2025 in a lower interest rate environment. Um, the things that SoFi is going to accomplish pretty soon is going to be absolutely mind-blowing. And as you guys can see, we're looking at 100% EPS expansion. We finally got our PE ratio. You can see the stock is holding up dramatically on a massive sell-off. Things are looking extremely well. And please, guys, don't forget to click the link in my comment section uh, and follow the Twitter account at Kyle Stock Goat. Um, I'm really upset that I lost my Twitter. I'm trying to get the old one back. But, guys, I really got to start tweeting because I've had the itch to tweet to you guys. So, Let's try and get the uh, Twitter to a thousand followers as fast as possible, so I can get these, you know, uh, big, big, you know, updates out to you guys as fast as possible. When the institutional ownership jumps in, it's gonna be huge, guys. It's gonna be really important. So be sure to follow the Twitter. The link is in the comment section. Let's get this Twitter up so I can get the news out to you guys as fast as possible. If you made it to the, the video, I want to say I really do appreciate. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. Once again, guys, I'm telling you right now, the SoFi management has put an amazing company together, diversifying away from lending risk, continuing to diversify the revenue further and further out. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to be getting a super tech hybrid multiple pretty soon when Galileo takes off in 2025, you know, after interest rates continue to come down further. I'm telling you right now, this is a company that is disconnected from Wall Street on analysts, and we are going to reap the rewards. We're going to go a lot higher. Fair value is about $18. I think management is going to take this bad boy over $45 pretty quickly. Be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment. What type of videos do you want to see on this YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hope you have a great day.